Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an important topic for anyone taking amlodipine, also known as Norvasc. This medication helps millions manage their blood pressure and live healthier lives. But like any medication, it comes with some important do's and don'ts. We're going to break down 13 things you should avoid while taking amlodipine to ensure you're getting the most out of your treatment and staying safe. So, let's jump right in. First up, we need to address the elephant in the room, or should I say the grapefruit in the room? Grapefruit and its juice can interfere with how our bodies process amlodipine. Grapefruit contains compounds called furanocoumarins that mess with a crucial enzyme responsible for breaking down amlodipine in your gut. This can lead to a higher concentration of the medication in your bloodstream, potentially amplifying its effects and increasing the risk of side effects. It's best to avoid grapefruit entirely while on amlodipine, including fresh grapefruit, grapefruit juice, and supplements containing grapefruit extract. Your doctor can provide personalized advice on how to navigate this interaction. Let's talk about another common combination we need to be careful with, alcohol and amlodipine. Both alcohol and amlodipine can relax and widen your blood vessels, leading to a drop in blood pressure. When combined, this effect can be intensified, increasing your risk of experiencing dizziness, lightheadedness, or even fainting. If you choose to drink alcohol while taking amlodipine, do so sparingly and monitor how you feel. Always talk to your doctor about what's safe for you as they can provide personalized recommendations based on your health history and individual needs. Remember, your health is worth protecting. We all know the struggle of battling a pesky cold, but when you're taking amlodipine, choosing the right over-the-counter remedies is crucial. Specifically, you want to be wary of cold and flu medications containing decongestants. Decongestants work by narrowing blood vessels to reduce nasal congestion, while amlodipine relaxes blood vessels to lower blood pressure. When taken together, these opposing actions can counteract each other, potentially reducing the effectiveness of your amlodipine and even leading to a temporary spike in blood pressure. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist for safer alternatives, like saline sprays or nasal strips. Combining blood pressure meds, proceed with caution. Managing your health often involves taking multiple medications, but when it comes to blood pressure, you need to be extra cautious. Combining amlodipine with other blood pressure lowering drugs can lead to an excessive drop in blood pressure, which can have serious consequences. This doesn't mean you can't take multiple medications to manage your blood pressure, but it's crucial to consult your doctor before making any changes to your medication regimen. They will carefully assess your individual needs, adjust dosages as necessary, and monitor you closely to ensure your blood pressure stays within a healthy range. Your health is a team effort, so don't hesitate to communicate openly with your healthcare providers. The fat factor, how high fat meals can affect amlodipine. While amlodipine isn't as finicky as some medications when it comes to food interactions, there's one thing to keep in mind, high fat meals. Amlodipine is best absorbed into your system when taken on an empty stomach or with a light meal. Consuming a heavy high-fat meal alongside amlodipine can actually slow down its absorption rate. This doesn't mean your medication won't work at all, but it might take longer to kick in or be slightly less effective at lowering your blood pressure. If you know you're having a high-fat meal, try taking your amlodipine a couple of hours before or after to minimize any potential absorption issues. Maintaining a balanced diet is crucial for overall health and well-being. Consistency is key don't skip your amlodipine doses. Managing blood pressure effectively is a marathon, not a sprint, and consistency is key. Skipping doses of amlodipine can throw a wrench in your blood pressure control, leading to potentially dangerous fluctuations. Think of amlodipine as a steady hand guiding your blood pressure within a healthy range. When you skip a dose, it's like removing that guiding hand, allowing your blood pressure to rise unchecked. This can increase your risk of experiencing complications like stroke, heart attack, or other cardiovascular events. If you do happen to miss a dose, don't panic. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist for guidance on how to proceed. They can help you get back on track and ensure your blood pressure stays under control. I understand that the thought of stopping medication can be tempting, especially if you're feeling better. 
However, abruptly discontinuing amlodipine without your doctor's supervision is a big no-no. When you stop amlodipine suddenly, it can trigger a rapid rebound increase in blood pressure, often higher than it was before you started the medication. This is known as rebound hypertension, and it can be a dangerous situation. Instead of stopping cold turkey, always consult your doctor. They will gradually taper down your dosage over time, allowing your body to adjust and prevent any drastic blood pressure spikes. Remember, your health is a journey, and it's crucial to have your doctor by your side every step of the way. While generally safe for most, amlodipine can cause allergic reactions in some individuals. It's important to be aware of the signs and symptoms so you can seek immediate medical attention if needed. Allergic reactions to amlodipine can manifest in various ways, ranging from mild to severe. Common signs include skin rashes, itching, hives, swelling of the face, lips, tongue or throat, difficulty breathing, wheezing, or dizziness. If you experience any of these symptoms after taking amlodipine, don't hesitate to call 911 or seek emergency medical care. Your doctor can determine if you're having an allergic reaction and recommend alternative blood pressure medications if needed. Amlodipine is a powerful ally in managing blood pressure, but it can sometimes cause dizziness or lightheadedness, especially when you first start taking it or after a dosage adjustment. These side effects are usually temporary, but they can impair your alertness and coordination, making activities like driving or operating heavy machinery risky. If you experience dizziness or lightheadedness after taking amlodipine, it's crucial to prioritize your safety and avoid any activities that require sharp focus and coordination. Wait until the side effects subside before driving, operating machinery, or engaging in any potentially hazardous tasks. Your safety and the safety of others are paramount. Always be cautious and listen to your body. In the world of natural remedies, it's easy to assume that herbal supplements are harmless. However, when combined with medications like amlodipine, even natural remedies can have unintended consequences. Some herbal supplements can interact with amlodipine, either reducing its effectiveness or increasing the risk of side effects. For example, St. John's wort can decrease the concentration of amlodipine in your bloodstream, potentially making it less effective at lowering your blood pressure. On the other hand, supplements like licorice root can enhance the blood pressure lowering effects of amlodipine potentially leading to hypotension or low blood pressure. It's crucial to talk to your doctor or pharmacist before taking any herbal supplements while on amlodipine. While we all enjoy soaking up some sunshine, those taking amlodipine need to be extra cautious. This medication can increase your skin's sensitivity to sunlight, making you more susceptible to sunburns and other sun-related skin damage. Amlodipine can amplify the sun's harmful UV rays, leading to more severe reactions. When venturing outdoors, especially during peak sun hours, wear protective clothing, a wide-brimmed hat, and sunglasses. Most importantly, apply a broad-spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher to all exposed skin, even on cloudy days. Remember, protecting your skin is a crucial part of staying healthy. Antibiotics are lifesavers when it comes to fighting bacterial infections, but did you know that certain antibiotics can interact with amlodipine? Some antibiotics like clarithromycin or erythromycin can interfere with the way your body breaks down amlodipine. This can lead to higher levels of amlodipine in your bloodstream, potentially increasing the risk of side effects. On the other hand, other antibiotics like rifampin can decrease the effectiveness of amlodipine by speeding up its breakdown in your body. The key takeaway here is communication. Before starting any new medications, including antibiotics, always inform your doctor or pharmacist that you're taking amlodipine. They can help ensure your medications are working effectively and safely. Potassium and sodium play vital roles in regulating your heartbeat and blood pressure. And when you're taking amlodipine, it's important to be mindful of your intake of these minerals. Amlodipine, especially when combined with potassium supplements or salt substitutes, can sometimes lead to elevated potassium levels in your bloodstream, a condition known as hyperkalemia. While not everyone taking amlodipine will experience this, those with kidney problems or other underlying health conditions may be more susceptible. Similarly, excessive sodium intake can counteract the blood pressure lowering effects of amlodipine. 
It's best to consume a balanced diet, moderate your sodium intake, and avoid using potassium supplements or salt substitutes unless specifically advised by your doctor. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more health tips and information. We're dedicated to empowering you with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your health. Never hesitate to reach out to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any questions or concerns about amlodipine or any other medications you're taking. Stay safe and take care of your health.